everyone. Um, my name is Ru Song, and I'm the 2010 Smoked Adventist by Howie Challenge National Champion. And <laughs> it is both my pleasure and also a great privilege to be able to speak to you all briefly on how the SABC Challenge has impacted my appreciation of biotechnology. The overall importance of biotechnology education among our youth, and lastly, my biotechnology project itself. My SABC experience started in 2007 in the junior division of the challenge. During my three years of participation, I was extremely lucky to have so many dedicated people supporting me, and among these, especially my mentors at the University of Saskatchewan. I developed foundational knowledge and experience in a variety of areas and techniques to get a fuller appreciation of biotechnology. I learned to think of a research project as a complete process rather than just limiting my views to simply the end result. I also came to understand that while a scientific journey may indeed be, be initiated by a specific question or problem, as one continues down this path, one may indeed find new questions only new paths to take. Another important experience that I gained from the SABC was the understanding of the realities of scientific research, allowing me to have even more appreciation for what researchers had to accomplish before they create a poster, publish their journal, or even give a presentation. However, the most significant experience that I feel I received is the concept of biotechnology and its multifaceted applications. In the modern educational curriculum, one might study biology, chemistry, or physics. However, biotechnology is something that has yet to be integrated fully into our education systems. And that is why it is so important that programs like the SABC are giving young people around the world the opportunity to be educated about biotechnology. And this will help to ensure that discoveries continue to be made and these innovations continue to be created and developed. In our modern age, it is crucial and extremely important that we prepare our young people who 10, 20, or 30 years down the road will be the decision makers and bringers about of change. Biotechnology can affect almost every area that human beings are concerned with in this modern age. And over the past few decades, we have already come so far, advancing from the discovery of DNA to the sequencing of the human genome, with cultivation of exciting new areas such as bioinformatics and developments being made in various areas. Plants have been, have been made stronger, healthier, and more nutritious. Disease resistance and prevention methods have been greatly improved, with a significantly less environmental and human impact. Vaccines have been created for many severe infectious diseases. The list just goes on and on. The tremendous progress that has been achieved so far is extremely encouraging and can point to great advancements in our future. However, much of this future success lies in educating us young people, which is exactly what programs like the SABC are doing. For my biotechnology project, I worked on the development of molecular markers to distinguish two races of a destructive lentil fungal pathogen at the University of Saskatchewan and Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. Lentils are extremely important global pulse crops that provide many in the international community <coughs> with an important source of protein, minerals, vitamins, and fiber. Canada is among the world's top producers and exporters of lentil, and Saskatchewan produces 98% of this. However, the fungus Colotropicum truncatum is a major problem in Saskatchewan, and it causes great yield loss to producers, and therefore a negative impact on the global rental market. The best method of dealing with this 
obvious, would be to develop a resistant lentil cultivar. And in earlier study, Alpha has determined two races, or basically two types, race zero and race one. And these are differentiated based on their aggressivity on several lentil cultivars. Race zero is aggressive on all cultivars, whereas race one is aggressive only on those with little to no resistance. <coughs> A molecular marker that is able to distinguish between these two races would not only be an important tool for differentiation, but also a significant step towards building knowledge of the fungal pathogen and developing a resistant molecular cultivar. And development of such a cultivar would mean A, greater yield to producers, B, economic benefits for our nation, and better nutrition was also an improved health for a large part of the world population. From my experience, I would say that biotechnology really is the crossroads between practical, real-world applications and their theoretical and experimental counterparts. Biotechnology takes these powerful, new, advanced ideas and combines and implements them into where they are needed the most, in the real world, solve very real problems. Now, while you may have a different idea or definition of biotechnology, I am sure and confident that we are all here for the same purpose, to celebrate what has been achieved so far, and to continue our foray into new areas, creating new solutions using the tools, techniques, and innovations of biotechnology. Thank you very much.